What is up, people? My name is Shaquafina. Welcome back to the channel, and can you believe it? As of the recording of this video, last night, the Washington Capitals won their very first Stanley Cup in franchise history. I'm loving it. I'm wearing my Ovi jersey. I'm celebrating, and I'm not even a Capitals fan. I'm just a hockey fan, and it's really nice to see someone like Ovechkin, who has dominated for almost a decade and a half, but could never quite get there, and he finally does it. It's awesome uh, watching him lift that Stanley Cup above his head with tears in his eyes, man. It's hard not to get a smile on your face watching that. So uh, congratulations to Ovi and the Capitals. But this video and this series is not about them. We're doing another franchise mode about a team that was very similar to the Washington Capitals up until last night. A team that could never quite get there. They haven't won a Stanley Cup. They're a former... Uh, expansion team just like the Washington Capitals where they've made it to the Stanley Cup Finals before without winning it. Just a lot of uh, hardships for this particular franchise and for their fans too. Uh, they've been perennial contenders. They've been Stanley Cup favorites. They've been kind of hit and miss the last few years to be completely honest. They've been plagued by most famously goaltending issues probably for the last decade, decade and a half or so. That's been the kind this been the story coming out of this uh, franchise. So we're gonna go ahead and Wow, I just completely goofed that. We're gonna go ahead and get our name here. We are GM Shock and we are going to of course be making the trip down to St. Louis, Missouri to be the new general manager of the Blues. It is time it is time. After watching the Washington Capitals win their very first Stanley Cup, I got to thinking. I'm like, okay, what other teams are like them? What other teams have come so close but haven't won it? I know the Canucks have been there a couple of times. Of course, Vegas just last night, but I'm not going to pick Vegas. Uh, uh, but people have already done the Canucks. I'm like, nah, I, I don't want to do that. I've seen that a lot. Uh, people like to do the Coyotes a lot. They've never won. I'm like, no, I need something kind of new. Uh, so it was between the Blues, the Wild, and the Sabres. But honestly, I think the Sabres are on the, the right track. They have, at least in this game, they have Jack Eichel, which is their franchise center. They have Ristolainen, which is their number one defenseman, always gets like to the low 90s. I think he starts off as a 90 overall in this game. They have a goaltender uh, down in the system that is uh usually becomes a very good goaltender for them so usually with the buffalo sabers i actually tried it out a few years with them it was kind of boring because i re really didn't do much i just simulated quite a bit um how are the canadians and 90 overall good lord um but yeah so it was kind of boring i didn't really want to uh go through with that so it was really down to the Minnesota Wild and the St. Louis Blues. And I kind of decided to go with the Blues because they've had more hardships in their uh, tenure as an NHL team than the Wild have. The Blues have made the Stanley Cup Finals three years in a row in the late 70s after being a French or a, an expansion team. And they lost every single time. The Wild have never made the Finals. Uh, the Blues have been kind of hit and miss lately. It's, then again, so have the Wild. But I just... I haven't seen anyone be the, the 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 St. Louis Blues. I really don't see them win in this game. Usually, it's the Winnipeg Jets, it's the Washington Capitals, it's the Pittsburgh Penguins, it's it's the Tampa Bay Lightning. You really don't see the St. Louis Blues doing much of anything. So let's turn them into something. Let's turn the St. Louis Blues into a contending team. Let's turn them into a Stanley Cup winning team. So we're gonna go ahead and just set all of these. That looks fine, actually. Before I get going, I need to make sure I do something first. Sorry for backing up so much. Okay, so I'm going to do this first. Go back through. Pick St. Louis Blues. I really should have uh, done this beforehand, but whatever. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Actually, I didn't uh, didn't need to back up. So, Oh, well. We're going to get rid of all this. Again, that's fine. Continue. And then here's what I was looking for. Rules and settings. We're going to do two things. Uh, first of all, we're going to turn off injuries just because I find them to be very annoying. Second of all, I'm going to turn off... Where is it? I want to turn off notifications for... Uh, what's it called? Scouting. 
I don't know where that's located. Advanced settings, probably. I know you can't do it in the game itself, I don't think. Uh, so just bear with me here. Scouting assignment warning off. Okay, we're not going to do any scouting because scouting in this game is absolutely useless. They don't do anything. So we're going to turn injuries off because they're annoying and I don't want to deal with it. And I feel like it takes away from the quality of the video. Stopping every five seconds to replace a player. And then I also turned off the scouting for kind of the same reason. I don't want like every two weeks to be like, hey, you should do some scouting when it really doesn't do anything. And it just slows down the the video so we're gonna keep the salary cap on and we are going to be the general manager of the st louis blues let's bring a cup to missouri can we please can we please i don't want to fail people of st louis don't want me to fail we need to do something here and and by the way i did a little bit of pre-scouting here of course because i don't want to go in blind this team needs a little bit of work so before we get into like the actual season we're going to do a few things i'll go over exactly what it is we can take when we take a look at the team but I'm going to make a couple of trades. I'm going to sign a player or two because we need it. We, we need it. Uh, St. Louis traded Paul Statsny at the, um, the trade deadline this, this past season to the Winnipeg Jets for their run to the conference finals. So we really need a center, basically. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Statsny was their second line center. Now that he's gone, ha, ha, ha. Wow, it's bad. So... Uh, if this would decide to finish processing sometime this century, that'd be fantastic. The Blues will win a Stanley Cup in real life before this is done loading. It's really crazy. Okay, here we are. So we're going to go ahead and hop into edit lines. And look at that. Look at this. Look at this center depth. Oh, are we a deep team? Oh my god. Okay, so first of all, uh, Barbashev is a depth forward. Thorburn is a fourth line forward but he's also 75 overall so he's garbage and then Upshaw is listed as a third liner okay uh he is a fourth liner I know that so Barbashev needs to go down we have a depth forward as our second line center that's not gonna fly he's gonna be first line in the AHL to uh hopefully get him up to par we actually have a good amount of young centers but they uh look at this we have a good amount of young players 23 years old 23 years old uh, 23 years old. They're just not ready to go yet. So I'm going to send all of these three guys down. Then I'm going to sign a guy to play on the fourth line. Uh, because we're also going to send someone up, Barbashev down. So we're going to make a tr Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a trade for a second line center. Then we're going to sign someone to fill out this depth because, good lord, Chris Thorburn, stop. Please tell me you're not making a decent amount of money. Good. Two years left. You're getting buried, my guy. Sorry, I don't want you on this team. <laughs> uh, you're staying here because you're listed as a fourth line center. You're only 19 years old. You're medium top six. I want you to grow. Please grow. Uh, so next year, he could be a really good third line center for us if he grows. Uh, Kyle Brodziak's good in the meantime. He's listed as a third line checker. These guys are both listed as third liners. Uh, this, this third line is... This third line would be a good fourth line. But that's bad for us. So we're going to go ahead and ignore that. But as you can see, we are a relatively young team. We have guys growing here uh, with the occasional, you know, Steen and this entire third line. But uh, the majority of our of our good, like, play, our, our good players are still growing. Tarasenko, of course, being number one. So there's still hope for this offensive core, even with how terrible the depth is. But if we fix the depth issues a little bit, then I think we should be okay. Uh, moving on to the defense. Our defense is pretty good. We don't need to make any moves here. Uh, of course, maybe I'd like a younger guy here to kind of grow along with the, de the defense. But we don't have anyone yet. And I don't want to sign anyone if Bertuzzo is just going to be fine for us. Vince Dunn's only 20 years old. He should grow. Edmondson's only 24. Hopefully he grows to like an 81, 82 before it's all said and done. Bomeister's done. He's capped off. But 82 is just fine. And then Pareko is still growing. He's only 24, medium elite. He's going to be a stud for us. And then Petrangelo there as well, 27 years old. He's capped out, but he's also a 90 overall. So I'm going to move him over to the right because I want Pareko to play on his correct wing. Correct wing. I want him to play on his correct side. That way he grows even better for us. Um, I think. I think that's how it's going to work. Moving on to goaltenders, which, as I said, has been the biggest problem for St. Louis in real life for the last decade and a half to two decades, maybe. 
Uh, Carter Hutton, who's 31 years old, and Jake Allen, who's 27. They're both 83 overall. Decent tandem for this game, but I would still like at least like a, an 86 as my starter. That minimum, you know, like that, I'd feel a lot more comfortable with that. I know Carter Hutton can get pretty good. He usually grows for some reason. For, <laughs> he's always in free agency year one with like 85, 86 overall, but then he drops immediately since he's 31 years old. I wouldn't mind trading him to get somebody or something. Uh, we really don't have any goalies coming up. I'm going to flip to the AHL real quick. We don't really have any goalies coming up. We have this 24-year-old medium fringe starter here. He's only 73 overall. I, I don't see him really growing to be anything. He could be a backup goalie, maybe, if he grows. Maybe. Maybe he could be a decent backup goalie in the future, but... Yeah, that, that we don't have anything going on here. Now to the forwards in the AHL. As you can see, it's kind of barren here. Um, but again, we're going to send a few guys down. So that should really help out. This guy, Miko Laine. Are you, are, you, are you related to Patrick Laine? I'm going to look that up as I'm talking. Is he related to Patrick Laine? There's no way, right? Like Patrick Laine is literally over twice as good as this guy. Because what is he in this game? Patrick Line isn't he like an 87? So he's literally over twice as good. So we're gonna look up we're gonna look that up real quick. Um but yeah, so he's gonna be gone. We're gonna have a few of these guys drop down. We'll be looking a lot better. Um Bo Bennett, 25 years old, he might not really grow to be anything. Uh Dimitri Askin, 24, so he could be a decent third line sniper for us if we decide to do that. Uh, Sanford could grow into a nice fourth line, third line player. And then other than that, man, we have, uh, Costin is really, uh, center power forward. I'm putting him on the first line here. Uh, actually, we're just going to go ahead and just click best lines. Yeah. So, moving back. So, 18 years old, medium top six. He's going to be great for us in the future. Um, hopefully he grows enough for next year we can bring him up. That would be a lot better for us. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of guys down here that I need to grow, so I hope they have a decent season in the AHL. Other than that, we have this Gunnarsson guy who, I mean, he's just really taking time away from other people. But I don't really have anyone to put in there for him anyway, until we bring some guys down. Uh, Wallman, I need him to grow. That'd be very good for us as well. Um... And other than that, man, I think that's about it for, uh the team so as you can see we have a lot of work to do depth is a problem depth is a big problem sorry I'm, I'm trying to look up I'm trying to look up if uh, Miku and Patrick Lide are, are related but I'm not I'm not seeing anything I have no idea I can't figure it out anyway I'm not distracted anymore okay so what we need to do is we need to trade for second line center I know just the guy I know just the guy and then we're going to go ahead and sign somebody, send all these guys down. Because by the time we send everyone down, we're going to have an opening here. Because you're getting sent down too, Thorburn. I don't need you up here gooning everything up. All right. So hopefully he actually he retires. It would save us like 900k a year. So uh, that's the game plan. We're going to go ahead and jump into that right now. We're going to try and make quick work of this. Because I don't want to uh, be doing this all night. <laughs> I actually have plans in a little bit. So... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. This might be a shorter video, but I'm just going to get us past the preseason, and then we're going to go ahead and figure everything out from there. So, Backland here. This might be the guy. See, when I play... This is weird, because when I play tested this, they had Backland on the uh, trade block. So, I don't know if this is going to go through this time. That's very interesting. Uh, so, what we're doing is we're going to trade Fitzpatrick here. Hmm. We're going to trade Fitzpatrick because we're not going to use him. I mean, he he's a young goalie. He's medium starter, 19 years old. But he's only 62 overall. And we just... We're not playing for five years from now. We want to win within the next few years. We want to contend. You know what I mean? But they do have too many goalies. So we'll have to take one back, which is fine. We'll just take this guy back, whatever. We'll throw him in the AHL. Then they do require some other things. We're going to send them a draft pick. Uh, I have no problem sending them a second for this because we have two firsts. We have two firsts, so I have no problem with that. As you can see, we have ours and Winnipeg's. We have two firsts, so that second first should act as a, a second overall pick 
or second round pick rather. So this is fine, getting a second line center for this. He's relatively young still. Uh, we're trading out this goaltender, which really isn't going to be doing anything for us. Backlund does only have one year left, but that's fine because we have some younger guys coming up, so we can just let him go if we need to. We're just trying to be competitive this year to see how well we can do. So that's that. They should take this, if I'm not mistaken. I might be able to squeeze a fourth out of them because they... Oh my god, you guys don't have a first or a second. Holy crap. I'm trying to get Florida's fourth from you guys. And they would, they would take that. I'm okay with that. Maybe I should have tried trading with third instead of the second. No, but I'm okay with that. That's fine. So we're going to go to roster moves. Uh, and now we're going to send all of our guys down. So we're going to go ahead and Thorburn, Sash, Thompson, Confirm, then Schmaltz. Oh, I sent Thompson down. I didn't mean to do that. I actually didn't mean to do that. That's that's pretty bad for us. We don't want to do that at all. So I send Schmaltz and him down. We'll bring Thompson up. Being under the skater limit. What? Is, what? So what do I do? What did I do wrong? Well, we're going to send Schmaltz down. Oh, see, this is what I was talking about. Okay, this is why we need to sign someone, because we sent Thorburn down. Correct. Okay, so we're going to go best lines. So we will need to send one more guy down after we sign a free agent. And I know just the guy. I know just the guy. Hello, Mr. Aginla. You want a cheap deal? That's fine. All right. Now, I know we need depth that's going to be around for a while, but we have a bunch of guys coming up, so I don't feel too bad about this. I will go ahead and sign Jerome Aginla for exactly what he wants. He'll be here in a few years, uh, or not a few years, a few days. Uh, let's see, if, is there anyone, like, young that we can sign as well? The Samuelson guy? Sure. Yeah, let's go ahead and sign the Samuelson guy. Why not? He'll provide some depth for us in the AHL. I, he, I, he never grows, but that, that's okay. About goaltenders, anybody? Uh, a couple fringe starters. Nothing really too crazy there. Niederberger is always decent to sign, but yeah, no, nobody. Okay. So we should have both of them in a few days here, and then we can figure everything out from there. Let's just go ahead and sim to this game. Give us a couple days there. Okay, one more day. Let's see if they sign. Really? Come on. There we go. Samuelson and a Ginla. Very, very nice. All right. So, next maneuver would be to go to roster moves again. And then we can start sending people up and down. So, we're going to go ahead and send down Barbashev. And we're going to bring up a Ginla. Very nice. Very nice. So, now we can go from here to edit our lines. We'll just say best lines for now and then hop on over. This is what we are looking at. So, it already looks a lot better. This already looks a lot better. Uh, granted, I'd like this to... Uh... Yeah, let's do that. Well, I want to play him on his natural wing. Uh, granted, I would like this to you know, still improve a little bit. Obviously, I don't want a 40-year-old again let to play on our fourth line forever. He's probably going to retire this year. I just wanted to make sure that he, you know, got another opportunity here in St. Louis. But, uh, yeah, so this Tag Thompson guy, I really hope he grows in his fourth line role here and becomes a third line center next year. Uh, we have another guy down in the AHL, of course. A couple other guys in the AHL that could grow to be... Uh, a center for us as well. Fourth line center. Like this Barbashev guy. I, his face-offs are absolute garbage though. So I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> They're really bad. So I'm going to put Kosk in there. Kostin. Klim Kostin. If you guys could hear that truck outside, I'm, I apologize. Um, he just wanted everyone to know how small his penis was. Okay, so we're going to do this. Now we have Wallman and Schmaltz. Very nice. Okay, so this would be a nice one-two punch for us. Um, they should both grow here as well. And then there's our lower f bottom, uh, lower four, our bottom four, uh, goaltenders. They have Hutton down here. That's ridiculous. Okay. So we're going to have to fix that. Good thing I checked, right? So we're going to go ahead and bring 
you down and bring Hutton up. There we go. Very nice. Beautiful. So that's fixed. See, I'm going to say best lines, and then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to fix everything I just fixed. That's kind of annoying. Uh, anyway, so that's going to be the team. I'm going to sim through preseason. I think that's where we're going to end the video. This was just going to be like a more um, an introductory kind of thing, letting you guys know that I am back, and we are actually going to be pretty consistent, hopefully. So that's that. I think everything's good here. Uh, Fabrion is natural wing. Everything else looks fine. Defense, put Pareko on his natural side. Okay. Awesome. So that'll do it. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, make sure you check out our next video where we actually get in depth here. We actually will go through with the sim a little bit and see how well the St. Louis Blues can do for us. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Shaquafina. Congrats once again to the Washington Capitals. And I will see you all next time.